10 of the world's most famous cars. Number 10. Pope Mobiles. Popes don't only inherit the Catholic Church, they also assume control of a fantastic stable of Pope Mobiles. When you have over a billion people around the world following the church you run, you obviously need plenty of transportation alternatives to get around. Over the years, the Pope's rides have varied as much as the Pope themselves. John Paul II was in a Fiat Campanola when an attempt was made on his life. Pope Benedict XVI preferred his Mercedes-Benz SUV that came with a special glass enclosed room. The current Pope, Francis, prefers simpler methods. As a cardinal, he was known to take public transportation. Within the Vatican City, he uses a plain Ford Focus, and when he visited the United States in September 2015, he used a Fiat 500L. Number 9. 1961 Ferrari 250 GT California Spider. According to Cameron of Ferris Bueller's Day Off, less than 100 of these bad boys were ever made. He was probably trying to get Ferris to not take his dad's prized possession out for a joyride, but he was right. Today, there are only a reported 56 versions of this car in existence. When one was put up for sale at a Florida auction in March of 2016, it fetched a ridiculous $17.16 million. Clearly, amongst car buffs, this ride is legendary, but its appearance in the iconic 80s movie elevated the 1961 Ferrari 250 GT California Spider to one of the most well-known and sought-after vehicles on the planet. Number 8. Little Bastard James Dean became famous in life, and his tragic and untimely demise made him a legendary, iconic figure in death, despite starring in only three movies. Dean was driving his new Porsche Spider 550 through the rolling hills of Central California. He was a competitive racer and was on his way to a competition in the small town of Salinas when he fatally crashed nearly head-on into another car. Eerily, the young actor had introduced himself and his new ride to British actor Alec Guinness seven days before the incident. Guinness remarked that the car looked sinister and that if Dean got in, he would be found dead by that time next week. Dean's car, nicknamed Little Bastard, would appear to reveal itself as a cursed item after the accident and would be involved in several incidents that would cause injuries and further deaths to its future owners. While it was severely mangled, the car was salvaged for parts. Two race enthusiasts, used pieces of Little Bastard to improve their own vehicles. Troy McHenry put the engine into his poor Spider, and William Eshrid put the chassis in his ride. They would both participate in the same race on October 21st, 1956. McHenry's car spun out of control and into a tree, killing him instantly, while Eshrid would roll his car going around a turn and suffer severe injuries. Number seven, 1934 Ford 730 Deluxe Sedan. Bonnie Parker and Clyde Barrow famously tore through the country in the early 1930s on a spree of wild, reckless behavior. Their infamous streak of lawlessness came to an end on May 23, 1934, when Texas and Louisiana State Police finally caught up with the couple and littered them and their car, a stolen 1934 Ford Deluxe sedan with bullets. The tale would go on to become the stuff of legend and would ultimately make the deceased partners in crime more famous than perhaps even they could have imagined. Their car became a sideshow attraction at carnivals and amusement parks for years. At one time, people could pay a fee to sit inside of the bullet-riddled ride. Today, it sits on display in Prim, a town on the border of California and Nevada. Number 6. DeLorean DMC-12 Back to the Future is one of the most popular movie series in the history of American cinema. The 80s sci-fi flicks had Marty McFly and Doc Brown driving and sometimes flying around different time periods to solve the perils inherent in time travel. The car they used, a DeLorean DMC-12, has become just as iconic as the films themselves. Equipped with unique, gullwing doors, a fiberglass body, a flux capacitor, and a plutonium-fueled nuclear reactor, seven DeLoreans were used throughout filming. Today, three survive as well as countless other DeLoreans that have been turned into replicas by Back to the Future fans. DeLorean made around 9,000 DMC-12s before production ceased in 1983. However, in early 2016, the DeLorean Motor Company reopened their doors in the small town of Humble, Texas. They hoped to build DMC-12s with a selling price of under $100,000. Number 5. General Lee Bearing a Confederate flag and a horn that plays at the beginning of the song Dixie, this Dodge Charger was mostly seen flying through the air while being driven by the Duke boys. Due to the number of jump scenes in the Dukes of Hazard, it's rumored that hundreds of cars were used and destroyed during the show's seven seasons. When filming a jump, the crew would fill the trunk of the car with up to 1,000 pounds of sandbags or concrete so that it wouldn't nose over. Today, around 17 cars used in the show exist. Number 4. Aston Martin DB5 More commonly known as the Bond car, this stylish vehicle was first featured in Goldfinger and remained popular enough to be rehashed throughout the years. Most recently in Skyfall, 
despite outdating the movie by a half century. A little over 1,000 DB5s were produced from 1963 to 1965. Bond's version was outfitted with a variety of gadgets, including an ejector seat, machine guns, and tire slashers. Like the fictional character who drives it, the car is sleek and stylish and has endured as one of the most famous objects associated with the movie franchise. Number 3. 1996 BMW 750 IL Perhaps one of the most famous photos in music history was taken moments before rap legend Tupac was gunned down on the Las Vegas Strip. In the picture, Shakur is staring at the camera, a slightly somber look on his face while the driver, Suge Knight, looks ahead. The pair were in a black 1996 BMW 750IL. The terrible incident unintentionally made the car one of the most infamous in recent memory and recently came out of nowhere to make headlines. For years, the vehicle had changed hands until its current owners put it up for auction in late February with an asking price of one and a half million dollars. Number two, 1997 GMC Suburban. Just six months after Tupac was shot, his rival, the notorious B.I.G., was gunned down in an eerily similar fashion. Biggie was in Los Angeles in early March 1997 to promote his second studio album and film a music video for his hit single, Hypnotize. While driving with an entourage that included P. Diddy and two green GMC Suburbans, Biggie was shot four times while sitting at a red light on Wilshire and Fairfax. Though his group would rush him to nearby Cedar sinai Hospital, the rap legend would die an hour after the incident. While he lives on through his music, the car in which he was shot remained on the streets of LA as the vehicle for a family of six. This year, at around the same time that Tupac's death ride was put up for auction, this car was offered up for the same asking price of $1.5 million. Number 1. 1994 Mercedes-Benz S280 On August 30th, 1997, Henry Paul was driving a 1994 Mercedes-Benz S280 through an underpass running gracefully next to the River Seine, traveling around 65 miles per hour when he collided with a pillar. He, along with his two passengers, were fatally injured. Such a devastating and tragic story is bound to make local headlines. Of course, the passengers who were in the car on that fateful day, Princess Diana, and her lover and son of a billionaire, Dodi Fayed, made the story worldwide news and one of the headlines of the decade. Media outlets first reported that pursuing paparazzi on motorcycles had caused the accident. These stories seemed to be debunked when investigators discovered that the driver, Henry Paul, had been drunk, and this likely caused him to lose control of the vehicle. Regardless, Mohammed El Fayed, Dodi's father, maintains that the crash was part of a conspiracy for which the royal family was responsible. If you guys enjoyed that, don't forget to like the video, and we'll see you guys next time.